Now let's take a look at expansion. Either using Pascal, triangle, or by using binomial theorem. Okay, now <coughs> let's say the first cultural angle. Or oh, for the first cultural angle, let's see uh, how to generate the first cultural angle first. So, to generate a first cultural angle, we start with 1, 1. And also to get the next one, that is this one is for where the power is 1. But if you are having two power, the coefficients are given as you drop a 1 here, you add these numbers 1 plus 1, you get 2, you close by 1. Drop another one, add, you have 3, add here, you have 3, and you close with 1. Drop another one, 1 plus 1 here is 4, here is 6. Here is 4, and here is 1. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, close by 1. This is what we call a fast triangle. Have a look at it, it looks exactly like a triangle when you generate, and you can generate up to the number of times or powers needed. In this case, I only generate to the power of 6. This one is when the power is 1, here is when the power is 2, when the power is 3, when the power is 4 here, when the power is 5, when the power is 6. And you can generate when the power is even 10 or 20. So let me just stop here. So how we use this Pascal triangle, we call them coefficient of the expansion. Now for instance, if you are given some terms to expand x plus y for n, assuming this x and y, uh, they, might, they might be numbers or variables, but n here is a number, a whole number. If n is a whole number, so to expand this one is just the same thing as the first number will take the power n, that is the first term. Because when the first number is taking the power n, then the second number is taking power 0. And any term for 0 is 1. So the next term, the power of the first number will decrease. That is, you are going to have xn minus 1. Then this one from 0, it will increase to 1. Plus the next term, this power will decrease again. We are going to have minus 2 then this one will increase by 1. Plus xn minus 3, y power 3, plus up to where we are going to have n minus n, y n. So this is the general uh, expansion. Oh, and also when you expand like this, then you, you, you check the power. What is the power given? If the power given here is maybe 6, so you are going to use this Pascal coefficients to attach with, with the terms. Now let me, uh, so there are some rules which says for, for any expansion, the terms are n plus 1 term. That is to say, if you are given expansion of numbers, power 5. So the number of terms you are going to have is 5 as our n plus 1. So we are going to have 6 terms. Whenever you are expanding with power 5, you are going to have 6 terms. Then whenever you are expanding with power 4, you are going to have 5 terms. If you are expanding with power 11, you are going to have 11 terms. And also, whenever you are expanding, when the first number is decreasing, therefore the second number will be increasing. So. Having this, let's just see an example. Let me just, for instance, I might be given x plus 2 for 5. 
I'm sorry, I have x plus 2 for 5 here. The first thing I will do is by comparing here is x and x. Our y here is 2 and our n is 5. So having that, we just follow this rule which says x power n. That is x power 5 plus the second one, the n is decreasing. x 5 minus 1. Then the second number will come. Plus x 5 minus 2 according to this. Then second number for our 2. Plus x 5 minus 3. Second number for our 3. Plus x 5 minus 4. Second number for our 4. Plus x 5 for our 5. 2 for our 5. Then we stop. Because we reach the place where we have n minus n and n. Look at it. 5 minus 5 and 2 power 5. So having this one, we just simplify by having x power 5 plus 2 power 1 is 2. Then x, 2 power 4 is uh, 5 minus 1 is 4. Plus 2 power 2, 4. x, 5 minus 2 is 3. Plus 2 power this is 8. Then x powers 2. Plus um, 2 power 4 here is 16. Then x, 5 minus 4 is 1. Plus 5 minus 5, we are going to have x power 0. And anything power 0 is 1. So we consider only this one, 2 for our 5 is 32. So 1 times 32, we are going to have 32. So now let's compare to see whether we are having n plus 1 term. Our n here is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. Now let's count the number of terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are having 6 terms. The next thing is the power here is 5. We come to the first cultural angle, where is power 5? Here is power 5. Just count the number of terms in power 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are having 6 powers. The next thing is, we multiply the result here by the coefficient of the first here. Each now the first number, multiply by the first term, which is x5 plus the second number which is 5 multiply by the second term which is 2x power 4 the next number which is 10 multiply by the next term which is 4x power 3 plus the next number here is 10 also multiply by 8x square plus the next number is 5 multiply by 16x only x plus the last, num last number here is 1 multiply by the last number here which is 32 so now let's multiply at last we are going to have 1 times this x power 5 plus 5 times 2 10 x 4 plus 10 times 4 40 x 3 plus 10 times 8 we have 80 x square plus this times this, um, we are going to have 80 also, 80x plus 32. So this is the expansion of x plus 2 for our 5. So also after this, there is something I would like to explain, which is or something we call constant term, constant or absolute term of expansion. In an expansion, the absolute term is the term that is free of x, that is constant. A term that has no variable is called the absolute term. Now, in this our example, if we, I, if we are to find the absolute term here, the absolute term is 
32 because it is the only term that is free of x. It's the only term that no x in it. So we call it absolute or constant term. And in an expansion, you might be given a question like this, x plus 2 power 5, and you will only be asked to find the coefficient of x power 3. For instance, we are just asked to find the coefficient of x power 3 in x plus 2 power 5. For instance, we might be given something like this. Just find the coefficient of x power 3. So for you to find the coefficient of x power 3, you have to expand this. And if you expand at last, you are going to have this. You check where are we having x power 3. So here is x power 3. So the coefficient of x power 3 here is 40. So you just said the answer is 40. That's all.